May I pray for you? Place your hand here. Lord Jesus, I'm asking you that you would help them, please. Provide for them and mend of all their wounds. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, what is going on, my friends? It is Vasters, aka G Saves, and I'm back with another plugin review video. In this video, we're actually going to be reviewing the plugin Mob Heads, which is a really, really cool plugin, and it's very neat. Let's just say if you run factions, yeah, where you at? Like, you should probably get this plugin. But it, this plugin was actually uh, made by Redstone Bitten. He is a developer. Hopefully, you know, that usually some of these plugins, I messed up on the last one because there were so many developers and I, I, I said the wrong name. So hopefully, he is the developer of the plugin. Okay. And that was a little awkward, but yeah, hopefully. Um, but this plugin is really, really cool. Basically, what it actually does with the mobs, as you can see over there, when you defeat one of them and stuff like that, they will actually have a chance to drop uh, their like heads, like their faces, and it's a, kind of like a trophy type of thing. Kind of like when PvP, you see some of the servers that when you defeat like an opponent, sometimes you get like the player head as a trophy, and then you can sell that and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of that's kind of how it is, but with mobs, and it's very very cool. This plugin also allows you to actually sell the heads and uh, it's very very nice and it also runs on 1.7, 1.8 and 1.9 you do require something as well it's vault and also uh, the developer left a note of this plugin saying if you are not running on a 1.9 to disable the 1.9 mobs like shulker I believe is one of them um, stuff like that, I'm guessing it makes errors happen. Um, so yeah, he put disable that, and you can disable that in the config. Um, so first, we're actually going to be showing you guys a little bit in the config, and then we're going to get a little bit more in depth about what this plugin can actually do. So let's go to the config. And here we are, my friends. Hopefully, you guys can actually read this, and it's not too blurry. But here is the config. There's a uh, quite a lot of stuff in here. But let's go to, for example, let's go to the names first. Um, you can actually change the different names of the mobs, which is like the the heads of the mod mobs, uh, which is pretty cool. So if you wanted the chicken head to be called like Bok Bok or something like that, you can do that. So it's pretty cool. And the shulker, like I was talking about, is right there. So if you're running this on 1.7 or 1.8, you're gonna have to actually Disable that for some reason, but it's gonna be kind of funny in a little bit. What I'm gonna show you guys, um, I'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> but uh, right here, this is um, wait, what is this actually? This is oh, the percentage. I get it, I get it. This is a chance that they will drop um, the actual um, the heads. So right now it's 100%. So if I end up defeating something, it's gonna be 100%. So I'm actually gonna decrease this count to let's say 10%. Um, and let's go to okay, that was a percent. Let's go to the sign. You can also change the sign one. This is pretty cool. So I didn't show you guys the signs yet, but this is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You can just customize a bunch of stuff on this plugin. The next one is the config, which is like if you want a certain mob to drop their head. Um, the shulker is actually right there. And if you guys are wondering, I'm running, I'm running actually on one point um one point eight on the server right now, and uh, I should probably turn that off right now. I actually kind of forgot a little bit. Let's just say that. Um, but yes, that's the one you actually want to disable right there. So after I do a restart, I will be right back. <laughs> so that's pretty much it right there, guys. Um, it's pretty cool. It's very, 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 very nice. Um, very, very interesting. It's, just, it's, a, it's a really simple type of like setup. It's neatly set up. It's not mumbo jumbo and config. Um, so it's pretty simple to configure. So, yeah, let's go back into the game so I can show you guys what this plugin is able to do. All right, we are back, and um, we have two signs right behind us, and I'm gonna get to it right now. So let's get started. All right, so these two signs are very, very cool. Like I said in the config um, part of this video, you can actually edit like this, like the lines, the text. This opens the GUI when you click on it. You can edit that and stuff like that. Same thing with this one. 
Um, these two are actually basically the exact same thing. You can just spell it differently, as you can see. The way to actually make these two signs is actually very, very simple. Uh, there's two ways to make them so far. So there's one that is cell head like that, and it does that. The next one is cell heads like that, and it does that. So pretty basic, and it's just a GUI. So pretty nice when you click on it. There's also another command you can do, which is cell head, which opens, well, yeah. Uh, and then there's another one, which is actually kind of interesting. I myself didn't try this, but um, you can actually edit, like, the config in the game. I didn't do that, but that it says it allows you, so that's pretty insane. So there you go, mob heads, mob type, true or false. So that's pretty interesting. And there's also uh, the reload command, which is mob heads reload, just like that. And it will reload the plugin, but we're not going to be doing that one. Um, so that's pretty nice, but let me show you guys what this plugin is actually all about. Because this is pretty cool, it allows you to sell the heads and stuff like that, it's really nice. But what's really neat is just the aspect of, like, it, it's really cool. Like, it's really, really cool. I can see myself using this plugin in the future. Um, yeah, definitely. Like, look at this. Okay, let's say, like, there's a slime, right? And I'm just like, you know what? No. No, I want I want to beat you up right now. And it will drop a head. And then when you pick it up, as you can see, it becomes a slime head. And right there, it tells you it's $10. Um, I'm pretty sure you can configure that, like I said, in the config. So it's pretty, pretty cool. And let's actually... I'm actually going to game mode 0. And I'll use different weapons to show you guys. It doesn't really matter. As you can see, the, the heads actually do stack. Um, which is pretty funny. So as you can see, you can pretty much like it, for factions. This would be really really cool, cause yeah, I think it would be really cool. It's just an extra way to get like I guess like income on the server. So it'd be pretty cool, like in-game money. And like there's a cow. So let's say if I want to beat the cow, just just it just keeps going, guys. There's so much stuff. Let me actually. See, uh, I know the creeper drops it. I'm not sure if all the mobs drop it because I didn't really take a massive look, but I'm pretty sure the creeper does. I have to be careful. I wasn't careful enough, but hey, guess what? It still worked. I got the pig head. All right, so as you can see, there's a bunch of mobs that end up dropping stuff. Like there's a zombie here. Let's see if I can defeat. Calm down. Calm down. There we go. And there's the creeper head. Right there. So this is really, really cool. Um, I like it. So let me go to game mode one, and let me go all the way over here so I don't get like jumped and stuff. So as you can see, we got a lot of stuff right there, and you can configure this in well the file and stuff like that. Um, let me actually try something. What if I actually, um, let's say if I spawn like the creeper, will it let me still get the Oh, wow, it does. Nice. All right, but let me try a cow because I remember I edited the cow. So there's a smaller chance. Remember, I put it as a 10% chance. So let's see if this will actually detect it and know that it's a 10% chance. I should probably put 50% chance, but oh well. Hopefully, there we go. There we go. So this is a really cool plugin. We just basically just did some testing and it, it just flawlessly just executed that right there. There we go. We got the cow head. Can we wear these? Yes, we can. That is awesome. Uh, can we place these down? Uh, yes, we can as well. That's very, very cool. That's that's nice. You can pick them back up, I guess. So let me pick that up. Very, very, very nice, guys. Very cool. Um, but what it seems kind of weird, though. Look at that. Look at that. I just found something. I just found something, my friends. If I place it down, and then if I do this, and I pick it up, it turns into <laughs> it turns into um the default uh, name of the slime. So I don't know if that's a bug. We can find out, guys. See if we're gonna be able to sell this. I still like this plugin. It's really, really cool. Um, let's see if we can sell it. Yes, you can. I think. Yeah, sell heads. Oh, sell. I mean, sell. That's it. Okay, let me see if I put that in there, that in there, that in there, that in there. Okay. And there you go. Add it to your account. That's a lot of money. You can configure that, obviously. Actually, no, it's not a lot of money. It's like a one, isn't it? 20 bucks. I'm re I read that completely wrong. <laughs> 
I don't know. You can edit that stuff as well. Um, and let me actually try this. Let me try to break this and see if we can sell it because that might be a bug right there, which, which we just found. Which might just be on the version I'm on right now, but I'm not really sure. That's weird. It doesn't let me. Like. Hmm. What if I put like this in there? No, this doesn't let me move at all. Like, this stuff doesn't work. Just basically that. And this one is kind of like a little buggy. It's kind of like it doesn't understand. So, that's weird. So this one seems to work just fine. So if the developer is watching this, please do your best if that is a bug. There might be something I'm doing wrong. Maybe because I'm off. Can I de-out myself? Actually, no, I don't have the permissions on this uh, testing thing. Sorry. No, but um, that right there is kind of interesting. I'm not really sure why that happens. Um. So let me actually try with a different mom. Let me uh, let me spawn in something else. Um, let me get like a bunch of. I don't know, let's get like um, let's get spiders or something. Like that. Ooh, oh, we got a skeleton too. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now let's go all the way back over here and do a little bit more testing. And this is usually what I do, guys, sometimes on the plugins, because I run a server and I'm really interested in this plugin, so I'm like, okay, let me see if there's anything wrong with it. It's actually doing really, really nice stuff. I really, really like. So let me put that one down, that one down, put that one down too. Can I stack these? Yeah, I can. I can stack those. And let me actually end up picking these up. Pick that up. That too. And that too. And yeah, it becomes a default name. That's very, very strange. Um, it just basically don't do that. That's, that's basically it. It doesn't really, in a way, it doesn't really matter because after somebody sees that, they'll kind of understand it. So it, that kind of makes sense in a way, actually, because it just, it just, it just hit me. Somebody might just want to decorate their base with like a little bit of extra trophies. It kind of would be weird if you can actually pick up the trophy again and use it, like sell it. I don't know, like that would be kind of weird. Maybe that would be kind of cool. I'm not sure. Maybe an option for the config to be yes or no. I didn't see any of that in the config for that. But in conclusion, I really like this plugin. Um, I actually give this plugin mob heads. Maybe I'm thinking like, what's the rating we're going for? It's gonna be out of ten. So it's, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a really high one. I'm gonna say like nine point three. Nine point three. I really like this plugin. Uh, it's a simple plugin. The config is very very nice. I really really like the config. It's really simple. It keeps it keeps it on point. Just simply that little bug right there that we just found. If that even is a bug, maybe there was something in the config for that. I'm not really sure. Or maybe it's just because something I messed up on. So you guys can let me know uh, in the comments. But um. Yeah, I really like this plugin. I definitely do see myself using this plugin if I ever do add factions. Or maybe I'll just add an OP prison or something. I don't even know. This just this is it's a really interesting plugin. It's very, very cool. And um yeah, it's just very, very neat compared to other plugins out there. So yeah, I give it a nine point three for this plugin. Could use some improvements and stuff like that. Maybe in the future add a way to also get player heads. So then you won't require two plugins at the same time. Um, yeah, I don't know, just some little bit of upgrades. But I actually really like this plugin. So, so thank you for making this plugin. It's very, very, very awesome. And yeah, I really enjoy this plugin, guys. It's very cool. And you guys can check it out also. It's in the description down below in this video. Um, you know, you can download the plugin, put it on your server, and uh, there's also if you guys are wondering as well, this plugin is actually for free, and uh, the developer actually has like donations on there. Let me, let me, I may actually just like open this up, so I'll be right back real quick. All right, we are back. All right, so yes, there actually are donations which you can actually give to the developer. This plugin is free, and at the bottom of the spigot page, he actually leaves a little PayPal 
um, donation button type of thing and you can click on that and it seems like you can donate so that's pretty cool you can actually you know I, I like when developers do this like they give a plugin out for free um, for example via version that's a plugin that I really like to use there's many others um, that basically make their plugins for free and pretty much they put donations and it's very very cool because you know who knows how much money they could have made if they made it like a premium plugin but instead they made it a free and it helps the whole community out because there's people that can't afford it um, so that's very very nice I really like that I give that a thumbs up so that's very very cool so you guys can also donate to him it's very very nice of him to actually make this plugin for free and uh, yeah thank you uh, redstone uh, Bitten for making this plugin. It is very, very neat. It's very, very cool. So, yeah, I like it. It's a pretty cool plugin. But I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, my name is Vast. It's like he says. I'm signing out. Majee's with you guys, and God bless you guys. Make sure you check out the video description. Check out my YouTube playlist as well. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. God bless you guys. Majee's with you.